I... it's quiet, I'm gonna check. It's rolling, so. <laughs> this <laughs> room's a rockin'. I'm not that kind of girl. Don't come a knockin'. I'm so not. <laughs> okay, anyway. Bye. Wow. Do we introduce? <laughs> Many years ago when we got married, 19 and a half, um, we talked about having a couple kids of our own and then adopting a couple once ours were old enough to be part of the process. So we had Justice and then we had Tranquil and after Tranquil, I got the baby itch. And so we started talking about adoption then and then uh, Noble came. And so after Noble came, I was like, okay, well, we got three boys, and then I guess this adoption thing, I guess, just isn't going to work out because we've got three of our own. But um, I was done thinking about adoption at that point, but Heidi was not done thinking about it, and she kept thinking about it. Well, Justice wanted a sister since before he had brothers. So Justice spent six years praying for a sister, and his brothers followed suit, and each of them started praying every nap time, every bedtime for a sister. And so for... Seven, eight years we had boys praying for a sister. Each of them praying for a sister. And they kept, Heidi kept talking to me, so what are we going to do about adoption? Your boys are praying for a sister. And I'm just like, I'm struggling to handle three boys. I don't know that I want to adopt. And so I just dragged my feet for years and years hoping it would go away. <laughs> and it didn't go away. Um, so the turning point for me was a few years ago when we were in Haiti, and at the same time we went to Haiti, I started reading or listening to an audiobook called Adopted for Life. And what surprised me about this book is that it wasn't so much about adopting kids as it was about how we have been adopted into God's family, and adoption is part of everybody's story, everybody who's a Christian, we've all been adopted into God's family and how uh, actual adoption is living out that story. So after three years of starting the paperwork and not turning it in and finishing it and not turning it in, we finally turned in our paperwork and our first meeting with a social worker for our home study, she said, just out of curiosity, you know, there were three girls that just came into the system. Um, would you guys ever consider having three? And I looked at Jeff, and he didn't completely freak out, and he's like... "It's freaking out on the inside. He said, well, consider it. <laughs> and that was a year before we ever met the girls. Yeah, so we, uh, we started doing foster care, and we got a baby here and a baby there for, for a couple weeks. And then they told us about these girls. And they told us about them just before we were getting ready to head to Florida for a conference. And we said, well, we're getting ready to head to Florida for a conference. We can get take them when we got back. And so we left for Florida, and literally the girls came to live with us the day after we got back from Florida. So we hardly had any time at all to prepare for receiving these girls. So we got the girls April 26th of 2013. And um, within a month, checking in with the boys, um, you know, how are you doing? How is this going? Do you think we're doing the right thing? And it was, a uh, it's tough, but I can't imagine what it would be like without them. Yeah. So we've had the girls for over a year and a half. What about 19 months or something like that? And as many of you know, they've walked beside us in that journey. It's, it's been hard. It's been uh, difficult, but there was never a question in our mind as to whether we would adopt them or not. It just simply was, these girls need a home and we are a home and we need to welcome these girls into our family. And so after having them in our home for the past year and a half plus, adoption was finalized on Tuesday. And so uh, we now have three girls that are officially part of the Gauss family. And so that's exciting for us. Yep. We are the Gausses. And that's our, our epiphany. epiphany. <laughs>